Hi fellas! In this video, I am going to give you a few examples of how old brushes can serve your art in Unreal Engine. Hey, it's propaganda for your Patreon! Yes. Anyway, I'm sure this video can be interesting and even inspiring. Let's see that together. So, we will start by editing the leaves of a potted plant. This plant comes from the asset Sci-Fi Hall from the Marketplace, whose the link is in the description. So if I create a new layer and I draw with the airbrush, I will get an awful stroke on my plant, which is obviously not something I want. So instead, I can duplicate the original layer, move the cafe to the top of the stack and lock the alpha channel. Now, if I draw with my airbrush, I will only paint on the leaves. For the recall, you can still play with blending modes to have other results, but it is still quite limited. So, I will untick Show Engine Content and I will use Gradient Oil Brush, which is available on Patreon in June's pack. Before I proceed with any change, I go to Performance tab in order to uncheck Draw Brush Preview uh, because it may cause crashes when using complex brushes. I go back to the layer stack and I disable the alpha channel so I can show you the brush. You see, that brush applies a color depending on the gradient. The more I apply pressure, the more it goes purple. And if I activate the alpha channel, you can see the result when I paint on the leaves. Okay, we will agree this gradient is nice, but it won't suit for a plant. So let's create our own gradient. Let me show the content brother. And I will create a new asset in miscellaneous curve linear color. I open this gradient and I can click on the tiny marker to choose a color. You can also move the curves to change the color. Okay, I will have a gradient from green to red. I set it and I load it in my brush. I do a few tests. Okay, sounds good. Um, but let's work from the original image rather that pink is tough. <laughs> so I delete the layer, I duplicate the original, I lock the alpha channel. Yes, I know I repeat myself, but remember, education is repetition. Okay, so we can see the gradient in my stroke, uh, but it does not look like an actual oil brush. So I will increase the value of light opacity to make it much more perceptible. And when I go to the tip of the palm, I will apply more pressure to make it more and more orange. If the stroke seems too large, I can also lower its size at the top. And now I will even apply that color change on the stem. Nice. To finish this, I can again play with blending modes and opacity. Thanks to this method, you can easily duplicate the whole texture and get several color variations for an object. And here is another example where I will be using two different brushes to edit a building. Again, this asset comes from the marketplace and its link can be found in the description. For this exercise, I will be using monocolor oil brush. By default, it looks like this. It's okay, but it could be better. So I will increase the light opacity to make it more oily. Uh, and by the way, make sure you don't use an extreme color. I mean, like red 255 or the light opacity won't be visible anymore. As you can see, uh, you need a, a subtle nuance for this brush. I, I hope I make myself clear. Uh, okay, so I will put a layer under the original image, which is transparent, 
and I will paint many short strokes under each tiles. And ta-da! Enjoy these outstanding results. Okay, let's keep going on the good vibes and change that brick wall. First, I must open its texture. I create a new layer and I choose the brush dried oil brush. Oh, and let's not forget to disable draw brush preview. I give it a try. Okay, so the result is trusting, but what I'm trying to achieve is a kind of stone's friability. You know, when rocks are old and start to deteriorate. To do that, first I have to increase the light opacity again. Okay, then I will rotate the light angle so it looks more like a hollow and not like a bump. And then I can change the color to something clearer to be more similar to the rock color. And voila! Let's compare both textures before and after. So this is my house by default, and this is my house after degrading the rocks and coloring the tiles of the roof. For the last example, I will be using a dragon that also comes from the marketplace. As usual, the link is in the description. What am I going to do with that poor creature? I will make it bleed like if it had just fought a, a knight. If you've been following us for a couple of months, you know Iliad includes a blood brush by default, but if I use it on the dragon, it doesn't look right. I mean, this brush is great if you want to wound a creature with a thin skin like most mammals, including humans, but for a dragon, especially this one, I expected its skin to be very thick, uh, which means any cuts would have to be quite deep. So, instead of blood brush, I will use noisy oil brush. I choose a nuance of red, I increase the light opacity. And let's try. Okay, that's good. I will just lower the size and I will add a few more scratches on the dragon's face. We start on the muzzle. On the eye. its neck Night really looks injured. Let's compare before after being slashed. Good. Simple and rather efficient. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Obviously, I didn't go through all the brushes from the Jeans pack because that video is already quite long. However, if you have any need, if you have any question about how to use Iliad or how to use specific brushes, you can leave a comment or you can also join our Discord server. The link is in the description. And also, if you like what you do and if you have any pocket money left, you can tip us on Patreon. Thank you very much. Take care and see you soon.